my name is Jean Durant. I'm the creative art director for Illuso. Uh, Illuso very recently completed its new design center, which offers 18 of the very best Italian luxury furniture and design brands all under one roof. Each with a flagship boutique. Baxter really is a brand which I fell in love with originally visiting the Milan Furniture Fair in 2010. So this had been gestating in my heart for 10 years and uh, during uh, 2019 we concluded the partnership with Baxter and Iluso today stands very proud to offer Baxter to the African market. Today I'm joined by Stefano Giudotti, the creative department manager for Baxter and one of the very talented designers for Baxter, Federico Pelli. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Stefano, let me ask you, uh, your co cooperation with Federico Perry yeah. started a few years ago and some amazing pieces were born. Um, when was the first time uh, you decided that you wanted to cooperate with Federico Perry? So, uh, uh, Paolo and I met Federico a few years ago. It was 2017, Federico, it's correct. Yeah, yeah, right. When, when he did a talk for El Decor in Venice. We were in, at the Guggenheim Museum. We started talking, we had a really very nice conversation. And after a few months, we decided to start this collaboration, designing his first collection for Baxter, uh, shown in the uh, Salone del Mobile in, of the 2018. And uh, he designed his first pieces for Baxter, the, the plastic table, the rail uh, coffee table, and uh, the pool lighting collection. And uh, all of this collection contained the elements of the style of Federico, so very, uh, very clean and uh, simple uh, elements, uh, super uh, uh, great attention to the details, and of course the leather. And uh, it was a really great success since the beginning. So, and after that, uh, we continued with the other collection last year. And this year, too, we, we had a really very beautiful uh, collection together. Wow, that's amazing. I've noticed uh, on the details of Federico's design, it's, for me, it's yeah. like a watchmaking. There's like a perfection <laughs> in every single screw and the color of the particular. Tina, so really, uh, I'm honored uh, uh, to be speaking you, with you, uh, Federico. Tell me, uh, for you, what about your first meeting with Baxter? How, how was it for you? Uh, well, uh, first of all, thank you, Jean. And my first mini meeting with Baxter was really uh, amazing. I, rem I have really a good uh, reminds of that meeting. And the very first, just told Stefano, that was at the uh, Guggenheim Museum in Venice. But then the, I can say that the very first was at the Baxter showroom in Milan, at the Baxter Cinema. And I met them there, uh, Stefano, and we started to discuss about uh, the, the world of Baxter, what Baxter represents in the market. And uh, obviously, I already uh, knew quite well uh, Baxter in that period because um, I admire their collection, the designers that work with the brand and the creative direction and all what they are doing. And um, so we, but you know, it's quite different. If you just know a brand because you know the, the product, you know the, the company, and it's quite different compared to talk directly with them. And then we start, mm -hmm. Stefano explain me the vision of the, um, that he has in mind uh, together with Paolo about the future of the brand. What could be the, um, I mean, the, the main topic of the, the collection. And the things that I really loved in that moment was that uh, they um, asked me to, to feel free to design something, uh, an entire collection for them. That's, uh, that for me was really important because it's quite different to just to design a, a table, for example, or to design an entire collection, because this means that the, the, the brand uh, trusts in you and would like to be mm. represented also by you. And so this, for me, was an honor to, to start in this way. 
And um, then since that moment, we, we collaborate together, we, we make the project together, we discuss about the detail, material, uh, proportion and, and everything till the, till, till the first Salone that was in 2018. And then we continue to collaborate. So it means that uh, we both was really happy about the collaboration and, and now we are going on with a new project. That's it. Wonderful. Let me say emotion, quality, uh, mood, young people, communication, um, Milan at the center. These are a few words that come to mind uh, if I had to summarize in my way, the Baxter philosophy. Um, can you give us a background on Baxter in terms of where it all began? Yes, this is so nice to tell you. So Baxter Adventure was born, uh, I think it's like 30 years now. Okay, uh, wow. From the intuition of Paolo Vestetti, the owner of the company. And uh, he decided to uh, rewrite completely the way of using leather in the furniture and upholstery market. Free from any kind of construction, so he started to use leather as a, a covering that wrap the forms and not to constrict them. So um, uh, the research uh, and the, the quality for all of our elements, not only the sofa and chairs, but even tables, armchairs, every kind of items we work on, uh, and uh, the, the mix of young and the traditional uh, design is the starting point of uh, any kind of collection of Baxter. And this makes um, Baxter so special as brand. The leather really stands out. It's uh, when we think leather in a typical way, Baxter is on another level. You, We hope so. The experience, the feel, the touch, when you sit in it, the softness of the leather is really on another level. Um, when people encounter Baxter for the first time, what is the first thing um, you want them to make a note of? And what really is the last thing you would like them to walk away with? This is nice. So the first thing people experience when meet Baxter is the sensation of the quality of, uh, they have by touching every kind of items, so uh, armchair, upholster, every kind of things we, we did. In the, we have in the collection, and uh, um, what remain in their what have to remain in their mind is the feeling of having uh, in their eyes something very special and unique. This is our approach with all the projects. How do you select your designers that you work with? This is a good, a good question too. So in general, the choice of designer is really very close to the research we follow during the year, uh, the, the things we saw in the world, and in general to our uh, needs in terms of uh, items uh, in our collection. And uh, sometimes the designers contact us a lot of the times, and, um, uh, and uh, while other times that it happen oppo the opposite things. So the process as, at the beginning is really very instinctive because it's related to the uh, inspirations. But after that, it becomes really very structured through the work with my team and especially above, above all with uh, Paolo Bestetti, with whom I share all the creative line. So this is more or less the, the process uh, to choose the designer or the designer choose boxers. And they, they make the synergy. Yeah, um, Federico, um, give us a background on your journey. How your collaboration with Baxter then also came about from, from your journey leading up to, to Baxter. Mm. Well, um, I'm an interior and product designer and I, and I set down my studio in 2010 after a period of, uh, that I moved in Paris for a scholarship after the university. And, uh, and then I, I lived in, in Paris for almost one year and then I started to work. And, I mean, I started my professional path let's say. Then um, I, I moved to Milan to work in a design studio and then I opened my own studio working uh, mostly on interior 
uh, side. So interior projects that were both commercial and private um, uh, field. And since then, and then I start to work also on product design. It was 2014, and my but my first project was uh, just mostly for design galleries. So it was a unique piece or limited edition. And but as I as I used to design every almost every piece in, in every interior I, that I did, uh, I start to. Um, to, to grow in me this kind of pleasure in designing the product, not just the interior. And so uh, that's why also probably during the, the years, I, I've been in contact also with uh, amazing brands like, uh, like Baxter in 2017. And the, the collaboration since, then, since that moment was um, uh, really uh, natural, I can say, because we really share the same uh, intention, the same feeling. And um, was nice that moment that we that we met, but then was almost better the um, the year that uh, comes later because uh, every year that we we work together we we define our feeling uh, in our best way. We we know each other uh, better and better, and this is just helpful to share a lot of things, uh, materials, the research, and uh, we really mix uh, his design with our research. So it's uh, always something special. Mm. Yeah, uh, I agree because in fact, in the beginning, when we, we discussed since the beginning of the year, the, the, of the new collection, we discussed about what will be in the, the, year, the next year. Uh, Stefano showed me a sort of uh, mood board that he has in mind that he shared with uh, his team. And uh, so uh, since that moment, I, I know more or less which will be the, the way, the, the feeling of the collection and uh, everything. So it's really important to, to discuss with, uh, with Stefano and his team to, to better understand what they have in mind for the collection. And then it's my role to, 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 to define something. Do you find like an evolution in your process, in your design process since working with Baxter? Sort of like with the inspiration that they offer you and also the freedom that they give you. Um, once it's, so it's almost, it sounds to me like there's a, a planting of a seed of an emotion, of a feeling of, of, of the new uh, way forward. And, and then you set free to really dream it up. Um, do you find that the synergy has created like an evolution in your process? Uh, yeah, of course. This help. Uh, I think that this help a designer to to ex uh, express uh, at his best. I think when you feel uh, a sort of uh, collaboration, when you know sharing. that someone is trusting you and sharing with you, uh, I think that you improve a lot in that moment. And then also uh, knowing all the um, the artisan of Baxter, the I can also learn how they made the, um, the product. And this is really important to better understand what could be the, the criticism or the difficult things to, to do. And not um, to be also, you know, in, in the same team. When, when you know the potential of a brand, it's really easy then to, um, to, to design. I mean, it's not so easy, but it's easy to, to know what could be their, um, their strategy, their, their way to make the product. And so it's really, it's really helpful this, to, to have this kind of contact with them. Yes, yes. Um, you've created some significant design pieces for Baxter. Um, how do you maintain consistency within the design? Um, well, I think that the, the first thing is to be, you have to be yourself every time. Uh, especially when when you design, you have not to be so much focused on the um, about the trend. I mean, you have to look about trend, but if you just look mm. about trend, finally the product, the, the risk of the product, it just could be suitable for the market just for a limited period, just maybe for two or three years, and and that's it. While I I love to consider my project um, timeless if I can say timeless, but yeah. to, to define something that has no so much reference in timing or that could be 
who can mm, anticipate some trends, while at the same time they can represent uh, the history of some uh, of some master. So a sort of mix between uh, a vision of the future and uh, at the same time um, the idea of something solid who came from the, the history of design, the tradition, the know-how to how to make things. And then I think that this together with uh, be curious to to look around, to get informed uh, uh, about uh, also looking for some art fair, for example, just to take inspiration. All this kind of thing can help a designer to, to be focused on what he is doing. So I know I've got my favorite uh, design pieces of yours, um, but uh, can I ask you, what is your favorite design pieces to date for Baxter? Uh, uh, I love all the, all the pieces. It doesn't have to be one, huh? one. Yeah, but if I have to pick one, I would like to say that the family of uh, Placé, the table, together with the low table and uh, the, the, the round table, the Lazy Susan, that is the, the last one. Uh, I love the collection because uh, uh, talking again about timeless, I think it's quite essential. The, the shades are really clear. Then there is a kind of, um, you know, as uh, Ms. Van der Rohe says, uh, the God is in the uh, details. And uh, the that detail. there is a, in the detail. There are a screw on the top of the, the legs uh, that uh, combine everything together and make the structure. Then you have the, uh, the top that could be uh, quite precious, both in marble, on leather, and the leather, mm. um, in some way, during the time, improved uh, the, um, his character, the, the quality. And then I love, for example, in the, in the last piece, the, the round one, the, the placé round table, the Lady Susan, I love the detail that I put on the top, that is like the game of uh, roulette, you know, when, when you take and then you move the the place yeah. and I really love that's the family that I love at most also because it's like an, an open system because you can create um, everything you can also create a bed for example with that with that system so um, probably that's my favorite for this reason and yours which is yours John mine I, I've got two I don't just have one <laughs> um, I would definitely say Say the belt armchair. Mm -hmm. First, I want to say the police state table uh, we seen in the, the factory uh, d uh, just before the Milan uh, fair, mm -hmm. like uh, a prototype. And uh, it, it was incredible for me the movement and also the uh, seeing it at the fair in the situation, the use of uh, marble, and uh, in conjunction with the color, color scheme of that room was incredible. But um, I fell in love with the belt armchair when we visited the Milan Fair, uh, which was launched, I believe, in the last uh, 2019 uh, fair. Before you entered the stand, it was there. So we, we waited a little bit and I sat down in this chair. Um, and I have a passion for bronze work. Mm. And uh, this was really a fascinating for me, the how the different color of patina and also there's there's a lot of perfection in the patina in the in the belt chair and how it transcends into the leather uh, i really love the proportion of the piece as well so this for me is uh, a really unique and it's very comfortable. super comfortable yes. super yeah, comfortable that's but baxter is comfortable uh, but there's not <laughs> uh, baxter is all about most comfort of the, most of the pieces yeah once you've sat in a Baxter sofa, you don't really want to get up. Uh, yeah, you're right. Like you didn't ask me which is my favorite. Well, which is your favorite? <laughs> I think it's the, the rail table. There we go. That was my... Yeah, it's I a, love this piece. For me, it's a sculpture. It's a really very beautiful piece. Yeah. And mm. technically, it's not easy to realize it. So it's, uh, it's a very it's, beautiful piece. Yeah. The thin pieces of marble, uh, but uh, I love the way in, in a lot of the coffee tables and especially this piece, it's, it's more than a coffee. It's like sculpture. It it's really sculpture. is. And it's a sort like, of domino because you can put one up the other one and it's, uh, it's a really very good. For me, it's one of my favorite. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. So, thank you both. <laughs> <laughs> Our pleasure. Yeah. Um, 
this question really goes out to both of you. Do you perceive an evolution in the furniture design business um, after we found ourselves in scenario of lockdown and isolation? Okay, I start to, uh, during the lockdown period, uh, I worked a lot with my team on uh, the project of the new collection of 2020. And mm -hmm. show, of course, the show, the collection to our client because we, we didn't have the, the Salone del Mobile to show the, all the products. And uh, during that time, we were really very worried about the reaction of our client uh, to, um, to see a collection without uh, see the real piece like mm. everyone every year. And um, we, we, you, we um, used uh, a virtual approach to show this collection using rendering and using uh, um, a lot of videos too. And uh, the reply of our, our client uh, is really very impressive good. It's really very, very, very good. And uh, I think in the future, we will use uh, in our pro project um, this kind of a virtual approach, considering it uh, like a help and not a limit that shows something fake. Because this mm. is the problem with uh, this kind of virtual things. If you do a rendering, you, you don't know, you see it, it is fake, but uh, this can help you to show product in a better, in a different way too. So for me, we will, uh, we will use this, uh, this, this way of work in, the, in our project in the future. The virtual experience. Um, when will the new product range be launching? Uh, in September, this September. It's a surprise. We will launch in, uh, in uh, September all over the world uh, in simultaneously. So it will be a surprise. Um, well, my, my opinion about the, the evolution of uh, furniture business, I think that during this period, I'm also talking with some of my clients, uh, also private clients for their private home, for example. I, I realize, uh, uh, me first of all, my, that I'm using my place in a different way right now as, um, compared to the beginning of the COVID experience. Obviously, we, all of us, we were forced to, to live the, our own more than uh, constantly, more than one week, for example, um, in our case was. Stefan, I don't remember, was one month enough, more or less, we, we stay in the, uh, so, yeah, more or less was, and it never happened to me. Uh, maybe when I was really young, yeah. Maybe when I was really young, that uh, I've I've been maybe sick or fever, and I stay home for two two weeks. Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. That was my maximum experience at home. But uh, you know, now uh, I realize that um, I think as many of us we. We need to use uh, home in a different way, probably. Uh, starting uh, smart working, obviously, uh, you cannot think to work every day from your dining table because you have to move things. I mean, in, in my case, I have to design. It was quite difficult every time to, to take the things and to move and to put in another, in another room. Everyone and, did. Um, Federico. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I find we, we use our homes in a whole new way. We find new spaces in the house and create yeah. uh, uh, interesting spaces for, for different feelings. Yeah. During yeah. The time. Reorganize. Things. Yeah. Yeah. All the corner of the home. But then I also realized the needs of my, my, my clients that now are asking to, to have a sort of check of their houses and to, to help them to rethink the interior. How could be the space to work? How could be the space to 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 meditate also to yeah. to keep some time for themselves? And I think that in this moment, more probably, it's also it's still a little bit confused. You you don't really know what will happen in the next month. Uh, I think that during next month, people will keep much more intention in the um, in the interior in their house. And this maybe could be helpful also for all, all of us, all the designers that uh, have 
something to do uh, more compared to the what they did uh, before COVID uh, experience. There is so, mm -hmm. something new, I think. It's like people really had a moment to slow down and consider mm. their requirements as well, even in, in many aspects and facets of life, but I think also surely in the, in the home as well. What, what it is that the function of the space is, is what is the, the comfort that you require in certain spaces. Um, the home office concept has become a lot more important in, 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 uh, in our day-to-day -day lives. To have a space that has good light, where you're able to concentrate, have a peace in the space. Mm, yeah. And, um, and then about uh, the new collection for next year, no, for, for this year, because it will be in September. Uh, yes. Stefano, I don't know how, what, what I can say. I you can talk about it, but be, uh, don't be too straight to the point. Okay. I, you, uh, you have some new exciting pieces coming, surely. We have a really very amazing yeah. collection. Yeah. Federico, uh, I have a really very beautiful light collection, lighting collection and other furniture. You can talk about it. I'm joking, Federico. <laughs> Okay, I just give a small, um, uh, a uh, little information. No, it will be um, a bed, a new bed that I really mm -hmm. love it, and uh, I would like to have in my own because I really love it. Uh, I cannot big room only if you have a big room, Federico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there is also the, the small version, so oh, we can also combine. Yeah, surely you have access to one of the first pieces or the uh, first yeah. prototype. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I cannot say many things, but I, I can just say that there are sort of um, items that you can combine with the ladder. So some kind of accessoride that can give strength to the project and also can, can be part to the bed, like the table that are um, together with the bed and also the lighting as well. And, uh, but then I can say anything else because uh, you have to see in the September, and um, so it's more than a bed. It 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 sounds yeah. like it can change. Yeah, it can change. It's like a modular system where you can add or remove elements, and then the lighting family is um, you have mm -hmm. to imagine something like something uh, big volumes, uh, transparency, uh, color, and metal together something transparent and some suspension and something fixed to the wall and it's not just um, it's not just functional because obviously a lighting system has to be functional but it's also really decorative because there are some this kind of big volume uh, uh, rounded um, uh, also here i don't know stephanie if you want to add something but uh, i can know <laughs> yeah, so this is, that's all. Price. So we know it's a really very beautiful collection and it's, a, we call it the organic collection because it's inspired to, the, to the, all the nature and the uh, stone smoothed by time. And uh, it will be really very impressive in terms of uh, uh, collection, the colors and materials we have this year. So we are, we are waiting for September. Now you influence my dreams. I'm going to be imagining, <laughs> waiting to, to see. <laughs> We're super happy about that. Yeah, me too. The nature is really playing a big role in, in, in our lives these days, I believe. The closer we get to nature, our interaction with nature. Um, do you see that coming through in design more, more and I more? I think so, more and more, because this is what we are doing now and we are uh, planning to do in the next year. Uh, mm. I was talking about the, 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 the shape and uh, about the materials and uh, all the colors too. So it will be more related to, to, to this organic and natural world. So I would like to really thank you, Jean and Federico, for the interview, this kind of... Uh, nice talk and uh, i'm really excited to to come in uh, in your uh, showroom really very soon we we really re re really ready to receive you as soon as you can come to visit we can't wait so you can experience firsthand the space also for yourself it's always 
is better in real life. Perfect, with great pleasure. And Federico, I hope you're gonna be joining also. Yeah, of course. Uh, I saw all the picture of your your place and was uh, it's really amazing. So I'm dying to see with my with my eyes. Have Have either of you ever been to South Africa before? I never been no. there. I never been there. So this can be I a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think so. I think so. Mm. So see you soon mm. and. Uh, uh, of course, in September with the new collection. Thank you. Thank you both for joining us. We look forward to the future together and to great collaboration carrying on in the future. Bye, Jan. Talk for Ciao. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for Bye. having me. Bye.